The city of Pompano Beach has three amazing exhibition venues with outstanding shows in the gallery spaces. They include Pompano Beach Cultural Center, Bailey Contemporary Arts Center, and the Alley Cultural Arts Center. And they are curated by this incredible woman, Dr. Juliana Ferreira, who joins us now to talk about what's on display and how we can enjoy these world-class art experiences. Doctor, welcome to Inside South Florida. Thank you so much for having me today. Of course, curating art. It's a process, it's an experience. How do you decide, doctor, what goes into the spaces? What's the criteria? Well, it all starts with what we have to see in a portfolio. So we have a local artists, they can submit a portfolio via our website, pompanobeachart.org. And I also look at other artists that are exhibiting in other galleries. And we build our exhibitions, believe it or not, two to four years ahead of time. So when wow. someone submits a uh, proposal, I always have to look at how it compares even with other exhibitions that are happening at the same time, because we have the three venues, as you mentioned. So oftentimes I like to find something that ties the exhibitions together. So the criteria for me, and it be, because we're talking about an average of 25 exhibitions a year that we're producing in Pompano Beach, I also work with guest curators. So it's not only my vision and the people in my network, but I work with local artists, with emerging artists, international, and we really look at everything. We look at portraits, we look at landscapes, at um, exhibitions that are proposing social issues, and they are being accommodated in, in a bigger um, schedule. So fascinating. I've always wondered how people and how the curators choose the, as I said, world-class art that we get to experience. You mentioned that you have selections from international and national, as well as local artists here in South Florida. And you've been curating art here in South Florida for close to four years. What do you find so unique about the artists of South Florida and their submissions? What is really interesting and in looking at the art that South Florida artists are creating, in one hand, you see a lot of artists that are looking into climate change, they are producing artworks that are really raising the flag and awareness on climate change. And another um, area that I'm looking for is how artists are claiming heritage. Uh, there's a beautiful exhibition right now at the Allied Cultural Arts. Uh, it was created by Emmanuel George. And what he's doing is looking at the historical figures in Broward County, but it's through the lens of contemporary art. So when I read the proposal, I was imagining something more, you know, like historical uh, aspects or documents. But what we got was a very vibrant Florida style uh, exhibition, very modern, but is really looking at also um, calling awareness of the heritage of what uh, the people in South Florida have. Wow, like I said, exciting stuff. For yourself, I have to ask, doctor, um, are you ever like blown away? Has there ever been a time where you're just like truly floored by the submissions and the artwork where you have to stop and take a moment and be like, am I really seeing this? I have to say, I, I think that the staff of the Cultural Affairs Department, every time I'm putting up an exhibition, I'm really excited. I have to tell them that, you know, it is usually an exhibition that takes two to three years to, to put together. So it's oftentimes that I'm blown away, but you know, artists that I don't know, I love to receive proposals and portfolios by artists that are not on my radar mm -hmm. or by curators that are new connections because they're bringing new ideas that are right. not, you know, in my plate. Sure. So all the time, it happens often. Happens often, it makes, that makes sense. So let's uh, currently talk about what's on display at the exhibitions and at the art galleries. So we have the three venues, Bailey Contemporary Arts, Ally Cultural Arts, and the Pompano Beach uh, Cultural Center. So I talked about the Ally, uh, the exhibition is called Base, Brower Arts and Soul Experience by Emmanuel George. Then at uh, the Bailey Contemporary Arts, we have two exhibitions. One of them just opened the Devices Project. This is questions the relationship that we have with our everyday objects. So it's really out there. I love that exhibition is by a couple from Houston Stefan Hillebrand and Mary Maximin. And then at the Pompano Beach Cultural Center, we just opened two exhibitions. One of them celebrates Earth Day. That's why we, we, we try to assign uh, topics to each exhibition. This one is called We Are Life, Somos Vida, and it was created by the Latin American Arts Pavilion. So you see that we have a whole gamma right now, these five exhibitions from local artists, highlighting 
um, historical figures to international artists celebrating Earth Day. Wonderful, wonderful. If patrons want to experience the exhibitions virtually, because you know, of course, with COVID and safety, people are may not be too comfortable venturing back out just yet. Where can they go see them online? We have our website, pompanobeacharts.org. That's the site where you can find all the information related to the exhibitions. So you can look at the page with all the exhibitions are happening. And as the exhibitions take place, we record artist talk. We also do tours so they can go to the website and look at that. And also they get information on how to submit portfolios as we talked early. Wonderful giving them opportunity, and also you can experience the beauty of art here in South Florida. Dr. Juliana Ferrero, curator for the City of Pompano Beach Arts, glad to have you on the show. Thank you for everything. Thank you so much for having me.